Hello and welcome to this lesson on longitudinal and transverse waves, which is part of the waves topic for AQA A-level physics. So in today's lesson, what we're going to be doing is looking at how to describe the nature of longitudinal and transverse waves. So if we've been successful and learned in today's lesson, we should be able to detail the nature of transverse and longitudinal waves. Name, name examples of each type of wave and link particle oscillation to the propagation of a wave. So in today's lesson, we're we're going to be looking at the following part of the specification 3.3.1.2 longitudinal and transverse waves. So we have previously defined a wave in physics. A wave is a periodic disturbance in a material in a medium or space. Now each particle of the medium vibrates or oscillates about a fixed position and energy is transferred outwards from the source of the wave. Now waves that move outwards from their source are called progressive waves and the two types of progressive waves found are transverse and longitudinal waves because waves can oscillate in two ways giving two different categories of waves so we can have them as either transverse waves due to their oscillation or longitudinal waves due to their oscillation now in longitudinal waves the oscillations are in the same direction as the energy transfer of the wave in transverse waves the oscillations are at right angles to the energy transfer so in transverse waves each particle oscillates perpendicular to the direction of propagation of the wave in this in this case there'd be no horizontal movement so transverse waves can be modeled by moving one end of a slinky up and down with each coil representing a particle so in transverse waves the oscillations of a transverse wave are perpendicular or at 90 degrees to the direction in which the waves transfer energy they propagate so here you can see in this animation that the particles move one way then the other they vibrate so it's important to know that in a wave the particles do not move position they only move backwards and forwards they oscillate. Now all electromagnetic waves are transverse. They travel as vibrations through the magnetic and electrical fields with vibrations perpendicular to the direction of energy transfer. Now, other examples of transverse waves are ripples on water, waves on strings, and some types of earthquake seismic waves, S waves. So an example of a transverse wave is a water wave ripple, because in this wave, the particles do not move position, they only oscillate, they only move backwards and forwards. Now, longitudinal waves are oscillations where, which are parallel to the direction in which the waves transfer energy, to which they propagate their energy. So once again, you can see that the particles themselves are only oscillating, they're only moving backwards and forwards, they're vibrating, they do not themselves move past their equilibrium position. Now the most common example of a longitudinal wave is sound. Now here in this example we can see that in longitudinal waves each particle oscillates parallel to the direction of the wave. In this case there's no vertical movement. Now longitudinal waves can be modeled by moving one end of a slinky back and forth with each coil representing the particle. Now within longitudinal waves regions in which the particles are relatively close together are called compressions and regions where they're relatively far apart are called rarefactions. Now we can look at this this idea of compression refraction in a longitudinal wave with the idea of sound waves. Now you can see that the wavelength in a longitudinal wave is from one compression to another compression or from a refraction to another refraction. So you can see here the comparison between the two types of waves. So you can see that sound waves are longitudinal waves with compression refractions whilst ocean or water waves are transverse waves. Now both of these waves will transfer energy, they will propagate However, the particles in those waves oscillate in different directions to this energy transfer. So transverse waves are oscillations which are perpendicular to the direction in which the wave transfers energy. So if we assume the energy propagates from left to right, the waves oscillate up and down. Now all electromagnetic waves are transverse. So examples of transverse waves are radio waves, light waves, UV and X-ray. So electromagnetic waves are transverse waves and are the only transverse waves which can travel through a vacuum. So it's important to know that all electromagnetic waves travel at the same speed through a medium, which is three times 10 to the eight meters per second in a vacuum. Now, as we mentioned before, electromagnetic waves are produced by the oscillation of magnetic and electrical fields, or are produced by the acceleration of a moving charge. Now, other examples of transverse waves, which are not electromagnetic waves, include water waves, waves on a string, and seismic S waves. Now, longitudinal 
waves are, where, are oscillations which are parallel to the direction in which the waves transfer energy. So if we assume the energy propagates from left to right, the waves oscillate from left to right. And examples of longitudinal waves include sound waves, P seismic waves and water waves as well. So uh, let's summarize what we've learned in today's lesson. We should be able to understand the nature of longitudinal and transverse waves with examples given to understand sound, electromagnetic waves and waves on a string. And you should be expected to know the direction of displacement of particles in field relative to the direction of energy propagation and that all electromagnetic fields travel at the same speed in a vacuum. So if we've been successful and we've learned in today's lesson, we should be able to detail the nature of transverse and longitudinal waves, name examples of each type of wave and link particle oscillation to the propagation of the wave. So thank you very much for watching this lesson on longitudinal and transverse waves, which is part of the AQA A-level physics topic, Waves. Thank you very much and have a lovely day.